Congratulations on switching to the NBN Broadband Access Network. This video will walk you through setting up your fibre to the curb connection. Before you start, it's important you complete the following checklist. First, check with your device provider that services you rely on, like medical, fire and security alarms, will work over the NBN Access Network, or whether you'll need to find an alternative solution. You'll also need to disconnect all non-compatible devices from wall sockets, including old phones, faxes and alarm services. Lastly, make sure you have an alternative form of communication handy during setup, like a charged mobile phone, as your existing services may not work during this time. When you're ready to start, you'll need the following equipment from your kit. An NBN connection device, an NBN power cord and an NBN telephone cable all of which must remain in the home where they're installed, even if you move. You'll also need a Wi-Fi gateway compatible with the NBN access network and the Ethernet cable and power cord that goes with it. Next, you'll need to locate your telephone wall socket. It will look similar to this and is most likely the socket that connects to your existing phone or internet service. Ideally, it will be near a power outlet if you have one like this, you'll need an adapter from a hardware or electronics store. If you don't have a telephone wall socket, contact your phone and internet provider. Now, take the NBN connection device, read the warning sticker and remove it. Then, check the indicator light panel is open. Next, plug one end of the NBN power cord into the black port labelled A and the other into a power outlet and switch it on. You can also use a power board or extension cord, provided these are safe. Now, plug one end of the NBN telephone cable into your wall socket and the other into the grey NBN connection device port labelled B. You'll know the NBN connection device is successfully connected to the NBN access network when you see three solid blue lights. Be patient as this can take up to 15 minutes. Remember, your phone and internet services will not work during this time, so make sure you have an alternative form of communication handy. If the lights aren't solid blue after 15 minutes, check all the cables are connected securely. If they are, and you still don't get solid blue lights, try another telephone wall socket. Once the lights are solid blue, you can connect your Wi-Fi gateway. To do this, plug one end of the gateway's Ethernet cable into the yellow NBN connection device port labelled C and the other into the correct port on your Wi-Fi gateway. The correct port is usually labelled WAN, Internet or NBN. If you're unsure which port is correct, contact your phone and internet provider. You can now power your Wi-Fi gateway and connect your internet-enabled devices to it via Wi-Fi or an Ethernet cable. For help, refer to instructions from your provider. The power light indicates the device is on. The connection light shows when it's powering your connection via the NBN access network equipment outside. If this light is ever red, contact your provider. The broadband light shows when the device is communicating with NBN access network equipment. Finally, the LAN light will be solid blue or amber when it's connected to your gateway and will blink when transferring data. Indicator lights may also flash blue for several minutes during a system update. Having trouble with the NBN connection device? Try checking the following. Do you have both an NBN connection device and Wi-Fi gateway? If not, contact your phone and internet provider. Have you checked with your provider that you're using a Wi-Fi gateway compatible with the NBN access network? Is the power cord running to the NBN connection device firmly plugged in at both ends and the power switched on? Is the telephone cable running from the NBN connection device to the wall secure and not pinched, kinked or bent? Have you tried using other telephone wall sockets? Are the power, connection and broadband lights on the NBN connection device solid blue? 
If not, try resetting the device. To do this, hold down the reset button for one to two seconds. If you're still experiencing a prolonged outage, contact your phone and internet provider. All this is covered in your NBN setup guide. For more information, visit nbn.com.au or contact your provider.